Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here uh, in Jerusalem. Um, I asked a question today on an internet forum, may have mentioned before Reddit, um, asking is there any good uh, cellular reception checker that works well in Israel? So I mentioned in a couple of videos the last couple of weeks, um, I've been working on getting a really, really good backup internet connection here. And when it comes to which, ce which cellular provider to go with, um, you can use the data only sim or you can use a regular package but you're in any event um, the connectivity you're going to get in israel um, or anywhere for that matter is going to be determined by whose infrastructure you're using to a very large extent now i talked about the difference between mobile network operators also known as mnos and mobile virtual network operators also known as mvnos and an mvno is essentially looks on the outside the same thing an example in israel at the time I'm recording this video because who knows what the market will look like in a few years. An example would be Ra Rami Levy Mobile. Ram Ra Rami Levy does not have its own nationwide network of cell phone towers. So what they do is use lease connectivity from a company that does, like Cellcom, I can't remember who, which, which MVNO uh, Rami Levy is. Um, and then they'll sell that on to consumers and typically for like a better package or something like that. So uh, that's, that's how it works. Now I was asking if there's a coverage checker that you could see in a certain part of Tel Aviv or Jerusalem, what's the coverage like? So I posted a thread on uh, Reddit and uh, got back this uh, very helpful reply from Asaf Shukri. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that username correctly, Churikwi? I feel like the R is, R is in a different place and I'm pronouncing it. Uh, he said, uh, GovMap, has a layer of active cellular antennas by provider on a map, but I don't know if it really details coverage of users or frequencies. Maybe there are differences in the coverage of different antennas. You can see that there are bigger clusters in populated areas like central Tel Aviv because there's more users there, but it doesn't mean better reception. It does have details like technology generation as in uh, 3G, 4G or 5G. So uh, he is correct. Um, there is a layer on the GIS for cellular receptions and it does indeed have that info on it. So I just want to show how to find that. So thank you to Asaf Churikwi on Reddit for that pointer. Uh, so I've just done a video on GIS and it is actually like such an amazing tool um, that it is worth just like knowing about its existence. Uh, so this is it, uh, it's govmap.gov.il. Now you can not see that uh, URL because my screen's a bit cropped, but lest there be any doubts it is govmap.gov.il and as you can tell from the website it is a government uh it's a government resource now what this is is basically um it's a gis it's a geographical information system so unlike google maps it just has kind of a basic layer of a map um it has a ton of data in different layers and those layers are maintained by different government agencies typically or the government itself and they Put a lot of data on the map that you can toggle on and toggle off and if you create an account on govmap you can even make your own layer and you can even access it by api so there's lots and lots of fun to be had here but um i'm making this video for people who just want to know about uh, what antennas are in their area and for those who want to know about 5g now i'm aware of the potential for abuse here because and i i, I don't really mean abuse i mean look some people are irrationally worried about 5g for uh you know reasons that I, to the best of my knowledge have never been scientifically proven so these people might be able to have a field day tracking down their 5g antennas but look um i don't believe what, what what's, what's the point of hiding info and i think it's great that the israeli government uh puts the info out there in the public domain on gis so uh, okay enough enough explanations let me show you what you need to do so when you go to the website, you'll see, and I recommend using it in, in Hebrew because I've tried it in English. There is a little English, you see the English button here in the bottom left. Um, there is a little English um, option, but um, in my experience, uh, it just does not work as well. I didn't find the same amount of information on the English layer as I did on the Hebrew layer. So therefore I recommend using the Hebrew layer. Um, okay. so you can click on it's not one of the default options it just loads here when you click into Shikvo to the best of my knowledge uh, therefore what I needed to do um, was click on Shikvot Midah Nosfot and that allows that 
allows you to get to the grand list, the granddaddy list. And this is like every layer that you can add to it. And like, look at this, look at this. Look at how many there are, it's, it's insane. You can even, you can also filter by category, Chirum, Bitochon, Vahatzala, so like um, emergency response, um, or just click on a Kola Categorio to get all the categories. Now, um, because I've added, I've added this, um, you're not able to, you're not able to get it. Um, therefore, I'm going to just go back here. Now, if we go to, let's stay in Tel Aviv for the purpose of this. So you can see here, I have Antenot, Solalariot, Pilot, which means um, operational cellular antennas. And if you click on this little arrow to the right, this is where the excitement happens, where we can start doing filtering. So um, it gives you some information about the layer. If you want to read that, Mogdim, uh, uh, oh, this is too much. This is too much effort at this hour of the night. Um, it was last updated on sixteenth of sixteenth uh, of July, and I'm recording this video in late August. So this is pretty frequently updated, I must say. Um, so that's that's that little about the layer switch. Chazara, uh, please. Um, and then you can click into uh, this option here, uh, which will allow you to change. You can either draw a selection and build a little radius um, around them or click on them or do a circle. Uh, so if I do like a square here, um, it'll sum up. It'll give you a little, uh, you see what it's done there? It'll give you like a little uh, list of the results found in that area. Now I am, not signed in? I should be signed in. Oh, I'm showing his Oreach. Um, Yotze. Yotze. Nitunim Lexel. I actually honestly having a hard time reading the Hebrew font a little bit. Uh, so yeah, you can export and get it up as a spreadsheet. So you can see I've now got a spreadsheet with the names at the end. So it's very, 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 very powerful. Like look at the, look at the extent of the data I'm liberating. And this is the key bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how you can filter on the layer here. Um, so next thing I can do, let's go back to the layer um, in terms of what I can filter on. So that's what this guy does. Bitsa, Nituach, Merechave. I just can't do this. I got the, I got, I got the Nikud all wrong. But click into uh, Sinun. And in Sinun, this is where you can do a lot of powerful filtering. Um, so you can search, you can firstly filter on Chevra, uh, on company. So you can see uh, Cellcom, Pelophone, um, and PHI, Micheret et Hot U Partner. So um, uh, PHI serves Hot and Partner. So there's essentially Hot, Partner, Cellcom, and Pelophone for infrastructure is operation in Israel and uh, really three because it seems like PHI is some company that I, I don't know exactly what the relationship is but uh, you can just show the Cellcom towers and watch we're only showing Cellcom and only show the Pelophone towers and watch we're only showing Pelophone and this we're in Tel Aviv somewhere um, and now if I go to Kol, um, we'll take away all that filtering and just showing everything including uh, the PHI towers now, what else can you do? Uh, search by search by yishuv by uh, by settlement. Um, I think the only really other significant thing that people would be interested in is showing what the antennas are actually broadcasting, and that's this last one. Uh, it's last because it's ordered alphabetically. Technologiot shidur, which means broadcasting technologies, um, and here you can search according to what they're doing. So if you're interested to know if 5G is in your area or coming to your area, uh, you can click on, so I'm going to do five. Now the way they've added this is um, there's separate filters for five, five and four, five, four, three, two, five, four, three, you get me? Uh, because some of the antennas are equipped with trans transmitting equipment for just 5G. Actually, I don't think there's any just for 5G, I may be mistaken, but more typically, it's like 5G, 3G, and 4G. Um, so I'm just gonna add, I've added five and four, five, four, three, two, and now we're starting to show towers, five, four, three, five, four, three. Um, what else do we need to do? Five, four, three, two, 
and only five. So now we've added all the filters and we can see all the radio towers in any area we zoom into that have 5G and you can see we're starting to find towers here. So for instance, there's this tower, which is uh, tower number 330125. It's operated by Pelophone. Um, and uh, we can see this is the tower here. Yeah, it's this one at 56. It's located on Ben Yehuda 56. Um, it was Bidika Tukufatit. Achona last uh, periodic check was completed on the 29th of, uh, of uh, June, June and uh, it even tells you like really detailed information. Kuma Aliona le Benyan Arabav Sheva Aleph, Be Ben Yehuda Mul, Ha Antenot, Mispar Shesh Vahamesh, Ba Abim Vasheva, Meter Me Arva. Sorry, some of that was wrong. And this one is a 3, 4, and 5G cellular antenna. And that's where that's exactly where it is and uh, you can even change over to satellite imagery and you can also do satellite imagery mixed onto with uh, street numbers imposed so that is it uh, let me just do a quick jump over to jerusalem and you can just once you've got the filters um, applied you can just quickly move between different cities um, so if i go to jerusalem now yerushalayim yerushalayim to city it's not liking that, so I'm just going to physically migrate uh, by scrolling. Um, and you can uh, see the same thing. So the nice thing is that once you add the filters, they are added onto the system. And now you can see we're getting filters, same level, in, same ones in Jerusalem. So uh, out of interest, is there any 5G antennas in the center of the city? Indeed, there are. So we can click onto this one here and we can see it's a telephone operated antenna to 10366. Uh, it's on Yafo, um, and uh, just verify that's correct. Yep, it is. It, it has equipment on it to broadcast over um, 3G, 4G, and on 5G. So uh, that is essentially it. That is how to use the GIS system for seeing what radio antennas are in your area. Um, if you are looking forward to 5G and you want to see what's there, or you just want to see what cellular infrastructure is in your area because that might make a difference. And if you're thinking about using an M, uh, MVNO, a mobile virtual network operator, it would be worth knowing. And I showed the last day uh, how to do this. And I'm just gonna bring that across before I end the screencast here. There's a good website called Atikla Stein. Uh, and on Tikla, you have this table uh, called Tedarim Cellulari uh, Im. Um, and you can see here, well, you can see if I make myself a little bit smaller, uh, you can see the three major um, actual operators, partner, telephone, and cellcom. I guess that's PFI, I think was partner, right? Um, and uh, you can see then the MVNOs un listed under them. And uh, now this is only current at the time I'm recording the screencast, but you can use that table to see who your MVNO uses or you can also probably just ask the company whose infrastructure they use and therefore then you can combine that by looking at this map to see who's broadcasting in a certain area. Hope this video was useful um, and if you're interested in more videos on everything to do with technology, some of it Israel specific like this video, some of it not, some of it having nothing to do with technology, then feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.